Dr. Seuss's most beloved characters is coming to Appleton. Pamela Williams-Lime joins us from the Trout Museum along with Daryl Price. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Pamela, first of all, tell us what this exhibit is. Well, the title of the exhibit is Under the Hat, The Many Worlds of Dr. Seuss. And it's a wide range of the works that Dr. Seuss um, created over his lifetime. So it's what many people recognize, the illustrations from the books that were created, the um, unorthodox taxidermy, a, a number of pieces of ephemera, and just the wide range of work that represents his full body of work over his lifetime. And do I understand this correctly, Daryl? This is a, a big part of your work. Your uh, no, collection? that's not my work. No, these are actually uh, replications of work that were was done and created by Dr. Seuss. I just happen to have the collection. That's what I meant. You have the collection, and and tell us how you um, came about all of these pieces. Well, I was uh, walking past an art gallery on Coronado Island one day, and I s discovered a piece in the window that I could tell was Seuss. And when I went in to uh, talk to the uh, gallery manager about it. I'm fairly sure he may have been a Seuss character, and he really motivated me and got me interested in the pieces, and more importantly, the stories behind each one of the secret art pieces. Fantastic. It looks like the exhibit is close to being ready, but it is not open yet. Is that correct? That is correct. You are getting a sneak preview of the exhibition, which opens to the public on Saturday and will run through the month of October. Now, Daryl, I was going to ask you to point out one of your favorite pieces, but perhaps you're not standing by it. So instead, would you talk about maybe the works that are right around you? Well, certainly. This is some of the, uh, the uh, classic stuff from the Cat in the Hat, obviously one of the most famous cats that was ever created, kind of the base of Dr. Seuss and one of the most recognized icons of any literary figure in the world. I love it. Did you have a love of Dr. Seuss growing up? I remember reading the books, but as I got older and as I started to collect the art, it was all the stories about the morals, values, the ethics, and the social statements that he was trying to make through all of his work, including his books and his art, that really captivated me. Well, I bet families are going to have a great time uh, going through the Trout Museum and seeing this. But Pamela, tell us about the big thing happening today. Well, today we are putting a two-story uh, Cat in the Hat hat onto the top of the roof of the museum. And the hat was made out of paper mache and was contributed to, it was a community art project that over 5,000 people actually participated in. So uh, once the paper mache hat was created, it then went to Bergstrom Automotive to get a, a spray coating that would protect it from its elements so that we could keep it up on top of the building for the three months that the exhibit will be running. We're hoping to see it live this morning. Is that going to happen? That is going to happen. So when we see you back here around 845, we'll take you outside so that you can actually see it happening as it, as it happens. The hat hoisted on top of the museum. Awesome. Pamela, thank you so much. And we'll check back with you in just a little bit. Thank you.